Welcome to the Design It video learning series. In this tutorial we'll be taking two different shapes that fit. One for a baby's six month old sweater and the second we're going to be taking the measurements from a sweatshirt that fits my son perfectly and he would like a sweater in the same size. Let's look at the baby first. This is for a baby's six month old sweater. We created this in original pattern drafting before but we want to show you how you can do this also in standard garment styling section of the program. When you're in original pattern drafting you put in the shapes minus the ribbing. When you put it in in standard garment styling section you put it in including the ribbing. So this 9.5 would be 10.5. This is 20 inches around so let's get started. We bring up design in it. The very first thing we want to do is say option units of measurement yes we're working in inches okay I'm gonna say file new I would like to select the garment type as a baby a female a sweater straight shoulder this is drop shoulder rounded neckline and straight across the back okay to continue I'm going to be machine knitting this this is correct I'm going to be machine knitting this on a KH 970 brother knitting machine okay the tensions are going to be 8 stitches and 10 rows per inch. OK, and I'm going to copy that down here on the ribbing. I can put whatever notes I want here. OK to continue. This time I'm putting it in as zero ease, and this is because the ease has already been added to the baby's sweater shape. So I'm going to say OK to continue. I'm going to pick a standard size, and I don't have a 20 inch chest size. I'm going to pick the smallest one there is and then we'll edit that. OK to continue. Now this is the edit body measurements and this is where we put in all of our sizes. The ease is 0 and we want the chest size to be 20 inches we said. That goes all the way around and the hip is also going to be 20 inches. The shoulder to shoulder is 10 inches. Let's take a peek at this again. The nape to garment length is ten and a half. The armhole is four and a half times two is nine. This is going to be six and this is going to be seven point five plus the inch is eight point five. So let's put some of those values in now. The nape to garment length we said is going to be nine point five plus the inch is ten point five. Here we go. The arm length is going to be eight point five. We added the inch for the ribbing the upper arm is 9, that's the 4.5 twice, and the wrist is 6. And notice we still have 0 E's, OK. And now we have a sweater that fits. We want, we looking at, once again, let's look at the neckline. This is 5 inches across, this is 2 inches down, minus the inch. Let's go back to designing it. Here's our neckline styling. We want the width to be 5. We want the neck depth to be 2, and we want the neck band, let's make the neck band 1. And now we have a sweater that fits for a baby, 6 month, and so we would say file and we would save this as a baby, we'll call this baby 3, save, OK. So I probably would only knit half an inch of ribbing here because that looks like quite a bit. So let's change this to 0.5. And you'll notice that the, the neck depth stays the same, but the half inch ribbing is different. And babies have large heads, and usually the necklines are half the width of the garment width. And this is 10 inches, and this is 5 inches. And so that's about right for a 6-month-old baby to get it over their head. And now let's look at our second sweater. This is for an adult male, my teenage son. He's six foot two and he's very thin. This is 100 centimeters around the waist, 100 centimeters around the chest, 62.2 down, including the ribbing. This is including the ribbing here for the 62, and it's also including the shoulder drop here, and all the other measurements are seen. Let's go into designing it. Let's say we'd like to knit file new, an adult male, 
a sweater set in sleeves with a v-neck and straight across the back okay to continue we're going to be hand knitting this okay this time we're going to select zero ease again because the ease is already added into the garment that we measured on our dining room table standard size we want to pick the closest size to 100 chest centimeters which is this 102 chest okay and then now here's where you enter in the outer sweatshirt on the dining room table except for one thing we need to say options units of measurement we're working in centimeters okay and then let's put in our measurements again the chest is 100 the waist to hip is 100 shoulder to shoulder is 39.1 the nape to the garment length is 62 the arm length itself we can look up on our PowerPoint is 62.2 the armhole depth let's look again is 23.9 The upper arm is 40.3 and the wrist is 26. Notice we have zero ease, okay, to continue. And now we have a garment that's going to fit him and match the sweatshirt that he has. I'm going to go into body styling and I'm going to say the welt is five centimeters which is two inches. The shoulder drop should be 2.5 which is an inch. Okay. Let's go for the neckline. The neckline width was 16. That's correct. The depth was 23. That's correct. And the neck band is 2.5 not 3. Okay. And now we have a sweater that's going to match exactly the garment that we measured off of our dining room table. I'm going to save this as Mike. Okay. It's okay to replace it. And now, all we have to do now to have a sweater that fits him is to add options, tensions, put in our new tensions in centimeters or switch it to inches if we want, and print out our garment instructions, file print, and we're ready to start knitting. If you want to be units of measurement, you want to work in inches, designing it will recalculate all of our body measurements that we put in for us, and we will be printing out our garment instructions according to the same pattern. Thank you.